covering the land. That's what I saw in my spirit. One morning I was with the intercessor groups praying on that porch right there. And this is what I saw. I saw like the li a lion walking around this path. Let me see if I can show it to you. And he's walking along this path right there. And it's like, it, as I saw the picture, it was like there were these kids like walking around them and, and they were laughing and, and just hanging out with the lion. And then the lion roared and it didn't scare the kids. The lion roared because they knew the lion was roaring to declaring the kingdom of God was here. Some of you across the country, across the world, the lion's roaring and he's calling you. Some of you are war horses. It's like you've been there beside leaders walking out your identity. You're more, war horses are more interested in releasing the kingdom of God than they are in their titles or their names or pastor, apostle, yada, yada. Then some of you, oh my goodness, some of you are like, like stallions. Some of you may feel like you're on the starting gate. You're like, when am I going to get released? And I see it. Boom, boom, boom. God's releasing these stallions to be the forerunners of really of the kingdom of God. Listen, listen, you're not breaking the mold, you stallions. You're creating the mold of what it means to live from kingdom, from heaven to earth, bringing the kingdom of God. So, you know, I see more lions all over this land. This is uh, Bethel, Atlanta, their new property. And it's uh, right over here, we're going to have like, like the property. We're going to have like a, a temporary sanctuary. But can you see the lions? They're just all over the place. They're lions who pray. They're lions who let the breakthrough happen on the inside and they manifest it on the outside. There's lions that are worshiping God as they, can you hear that? They're laying tile. They're, they're, they're worshiping God and what God, the gifts God's given them, whether it's singing or laying tile or making a video. So this is my encouragement to you. It's time. God has not forgotten you. He knows the plans for you are good and not evil. He knows your destiny because he's the one who gave it to you. That desire that's churning in your heart gave that to you. It's time to release. It's time to like let the true identity, the spirit identity of living from heaven to earth release. Okay, so if you're going through little trials, you feel like you're stuck, just think that, that God's still in control, you know. He, he's got his hand on you. He's got the hand on the starting gate. So while you're maybe in that place, continue to build that relationship with Jesus. Continue to learn what it means to draw from his presence. And just get so full that, oh, I just can't help but come out. You know, just like, you know, bump into some, someone bumps into you and boom, Jesus flies out. Okay, I'm just too excited. I'm going to go see some more lions in this land. And God really loves you and you're so awesome. He doesn't define you by what's in your past. He defines you by who you are. You are his much loved son, his much loved daughter. I'll talk to you in the next video. And I really do love you.